All right. right, when you create a new file or a new component within a file in Fusion 360, it defaults to use your um, physical material and appearances that you've set in your preferences, or if you haven't set them, just the default. So you can go to preferences, material, and you can choose what your um, default physical material as well as whether or not you want to apply a appearance um, to your new parts as well. So you can see I've got mine set there. Uh, we do most of our work with Baltic birch, so I just have wood and it's an oak appearance, but it represents wood for us. So, um, but this particular part I'm going to 3D print. So I wanted to change the um, properties of my bodies. So I'm just gonna right click on this body here, click on physical material, brings up this window over on the side. Um, I've got my favorites um, in here that we use. So I'm going to say that I'm going to print this in nylon. And that looks great. If I click on appearance now, it's going to put it back to the wood override that was set in the preferences. So if you want to um, get rid of that appearance, the easy way you can see here in this design, if I right click on oak semi-gloss, I can actually unassign and delete. And now that puts my appearances back to the default of the physical materials. In this case, it's the uh, nylon. So that's great. A um, couple of tips and tricks here. If, if you do want to save some time and you find yourself using some um, appearances more often, go ahead and put them into my appearances and or favorites. So if you go into uh, Fusion 360 appearances, you can pull down, let's just do textured. Um, this arrow here means you can download it. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, you can right click on it and add it to favorites. But you might be saying, well, how do I add it to my appearances? And the trick there is that you actually have to add it to the design. And then you can right click on it and copy it to my appearances. And you might notice that this little cloud thing here is um, is showing, and that's because my appearances is cloud-based. So because it is in the cloud, it will go to your different machines that you use Autodesk Fusion 360 on. So I hope this helps you, and good luck with those appearances and physical materials.